With Jamrich's defeat on the road, your thoughts on that one, please? Yeah, just the, obviously overriding disappointment. Um, I think it's tough. You come away, you concede four goals. You know, you, you, I don't think it's going to be difficult to win the game. Um, and that's as a collective. I think we didn't do enough as a collective um, to stop Rochdale. And um, <laughs> ultimately, you, you end up with a defeat if, you, if as a collective you're not you're not stopping them from getting getting the ball in it. Plenty of talking points in that game. What's the mood like in the dressing room after that one? Really disappointed. I think it's. Um, the boys know they let themselves down first and foremost, and that they put the gaffer down. I think today, um, like I said, if you actually look at the game, um, I think it's probably moments more than anything. Probably we're in control of the game up until about the half an hour mark, and then you can see two quick goals. We can see two quick goals, and I think it's one of those you can see the goal, but we compound our mistakes by conceding another one so quickly, um, and it puts Rochdale in the ascendancy. But then again, we start second half really well, um, and then probably moments again, like I said, changes the game, where comes his goal gets ruled out for what reason I'm, I'm, I'm a bit unsure um, but then again we've got to deal with that better down the other end um, they got the other end of the score and I think that changes the game it is those defining moments but one of them that kick started us for you well, for us was your first goal for the football club and a really well taken one as well yeah like it's a proud moment for me you know in terms of scoring my first goal for my hometown club um, something I obviously had to wait a little bit of a while for but um, at the time, obviously, I was really excited. Um, a lot of emotion come out of me with that, a lot of relief. Um, but at the minute, I'm obviously just got in with the result. It's a real bittersweet moment, isn't it? Like you say, to score for your hometown club and in front of 449 travelling fans who were fantastic throughout again, weren't they? Yeah, um, credit to them. They're back to us. They've, you know, the Easter weekend, they've, they've, they've travelled up here to support us, as they have done um, all season and since I've been at the club. And I think that's that disappointment. I think. You know, as a team, we're really disappointed, and I know that's just words because um, we've got to show it out there, and um, I don't think we've showed it through the night. I think we've showed it in spells. Um, but like you see, at the end, we, the boys genuinely care. That's why we're, you know, we want to go over there and kind of speak to the fans. Sometimes that's ill-advised. Um, I'm sure they just want to f find out what's going on, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to dust ourselves down because it's a tough game again coming on Monday now. I was going to say, you've now got a, a good opportunity, uh, you know, just in a couple of days' time to, to try and bounce back from this result. And at home, we've been pretty solid under Michael Flynn as head coach since he came in. And we have been this season as well. Yeah, um, definitely the home form has obviously been a positive. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, a, it's an opportunity. Sometimes when you are feeling down, you know, the, the best opportunity is the next one is the quick when it comes quickly to, to try and pick ourselves up again. Um, so, you know, Monday we'll, we'll be ready. Um, we'll have to be ready. We'll have to we'll be disappointed tonight, disappointment maybe in the morning. Um, but, you know, we'll have to try and put that put that aside and, and try and get a, a result. Carlisle will provide a, a different kind of test for, for somebody fighting for something at the other end of the table as well. Yeah, at this stage of the season, I don't think there's any kind of saying easy games or any dead rubbers. There's teams always fight, someone always fight for something, we have ourselves wanting to kind of, we want to finish on a positive note, on a strong note as possible, Carlisle want to finish, you know, like I said, try and achieve promotion, um, and Rochelle are trying to stay in the league, so, you know, there's always something to play for, I think, and, um, yeah, we've got to, we've got to try and, like I said, dust ourselves down and try and give a, a, our best performance come Monday.